Let me welcome you to the smoke box. Windows up, couple in rotation. I boxed out about three or four faces. What's up? This is another adventure of the smoke box with Dr. Green Thumb, aka B Real. You know what I'm saying? And I got a very special guest in the box. I got my man Lazy Bone of the legendary Bone Thugs in Harmony. Yes, you asked for it. I brought it to you. And we got chemists in the back, right? What's cracking? Oh, you know what? What's that? Each sleeve is up in there. Yes. Yeah, you know, man, it's, it's definitely a pleasure, man, to, to smoke with the highness, you know good what to have you. you know what's crazy is, is through the 25 years we've been doing this, because, you know, you guys are going on 25, or you guys are on 23 right now, right? Mm -hmm. We're on 25. And what's crazy is that throughout, throughout these years that we've been doing this on the level that we've been doing it, Everybody has always asked us to do some shit together. Always. Like, oh, man, yeah, we got to hear some Cypress, Bone Thugs, Bone Thugs, Cypress. I mean, I've had every, every motherfucker ask me throughout, like, the time. I hear so much, man. I hear it all the time. It, it would be crazy, though. It's long overdue, It's all man. overdue, you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> we talk about it. What's funny is it's, you know, the fans, they don't know. But we actually talk about these things, you know. Y'all be mm -hmm. saying in the comment boards or... Maybe y'all you know through Instagram talk about it or whatever social network you do. You might have talked about it if you're a fan of Cypress Hill and Bone Thugs or Bone Thugs Cypress Hill. We've had these questions, you know, given to us like, when y'all gonna do something? When are you gonna tour? When are you gonna do an album together or a song? And we talk about it right. as artists when we get, because we're boys too. When we see each other, we always talk about it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, we want it just as much as the fans do. But, yeah. you know, it's it's all about the timing thing. Timing. You know what I'm saying? Timing is everything. Because yeah. not only is, you know, we still torn off that music that put us on the, the map on so the map, long yeah. ago. You know what I mean? But we doing this this new stuff, too. So yeah. it's, 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 it's so much we do, man. All in the right time. Yes. Yeah, all perfect, in the right time. Perfect timing. And we're, we're seasoned for it now. You know what I'm saying? But speaking of which, I mean, you know, fuck. 20, 23 years for y'all, man. I mean, y'all hit the 20-year mark, and that was a blessing. But to still be doing it on the level that you guys are doing it, because I've seen the shows, and y'all haven't missed a step. You know what I mean? Even even your stripped down version of your big show, the vocals are always crisp. Y'all fucking got energy out there and y'all pick the crowd up. Like the songs are, they transcend time. You know what I mean? They're like classics. You know, did y'all, when y'all first, you know, came together and, and did any of that, did you, did you see that y'all was gonna have this type of longevity and success? I mean, it ain't no way in on earth we could have foreseen you know what I'm saying some shit, some the, shit the success levels you know what I mean even the losses we took like <clears throat> there's no way we could have really seen it you know what I'm saying but you know to sustain this long man we just it's a blessing you know to still be here man and still have all five of us healthy you know what I mean and still put the love into it the same way we did when we was 13 14 and still sharp as fuck because I say, you know, like, even not just the shows y'all do, because, you know, we, I've had the chance to do shows with y'all, you know, from my solo shit to Cyprus, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And to see how y'all still cut it. But when you guys do your individual work on, on records, I mean, y'all are sharp as fuck, dog. And I got to say it like this, man. You know, I, I said it to you on the Dr. Green Thumb show, kind of, but you guys revolutionized the style and how you flip rhymes and... Whether people know it or not, right now, these 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 young folks that are doing this shit, they're doing variations of all your styles. Like, you guys flipped each and every style that is out there right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, you guys are definitely Hall of Fame bound. You have to be because not only did you put the years behind it and sell the records, but you guys also influenced so many. I mean, that's, <clears throat> that's really the best part of all this because for one, man, you know, when it comes from the heart, you do it for the art and not just to be seen. You know what I'm saying? It's like you put you put love and 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 you put everything you got into what you do, you know, rehearsals and 
and all that shit. So when it come full circle, man, when it come full circle like this, it's just, like I said, it's a blessing, man. And, and oh, I, yeah. I, you know and we mean? high, baby. Yeah, and you high, know, the, so. the whole thing too, man, you know what I loved about y'all shit, man? Because I was a big <clears throat> fan of Bone Thugs, hands down. When I heard y'all, I was like, these motherfuckers right here. Low key, y'all was talking about weed too, though. And it wasn't even low key, it was like, out there, radio didn't even realize how you hit them. Right. That y'all was talking about weed low key here and there on some songs. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and I thought that was genius because I think some of these motherfuckers were too slow to know it. Mm. They just liked the song, you know. They liked the chorus, and they didn't. They wasn't really hear it, and then they, you know, it's already in rotation. It's a hit, and they're like, oh shit, these motherfuckers are talking about weed. Hold yeah. up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we. we been advocates for weed from the first of the month to Buddha lovers yeah. to P.O.D. to the weed song, the bad weed yeah. blues. See, I know, see, I don't think y'all got enough credit for that. And y'all got, I see, but that's cool though because y'all got credit as like, as bone thugs, like just doing music and the shit y'all was talking about was on some serious shit, you know, and the flavor that y'all had, you know, even. You know, the live, the live shows back in the day, y'all came out with it cold, you know? And I think you guys revolutionized how how hip-hop groups could do it, you know? Because y'all took it to another level, man. You know, fuck, you guys are... Bone Thugs are, I, I believe, if my fucking shit is right, the, the top-selling hip-hop group of all time. Yeah, you right. <laughs> See, I like, know. I, I mean, I, I know, salute, baby. Salute. I mean, salute. just just to hear that coming from you, you know what I'm saying? Cause man, I I done looked up to y'all, man, for so long. You know what I mean? Watching everything you do, man. And I was in high school when y'all first came out. You know what I'm saying? So to even be here, man, and have these conversations of having a career, man, making a, a crazy a, shit, a, right? a career out of this yeah. shit. You know what I mean? It was. Usually, you know, you do a couple albums, you one and done, and you're gone. But yeah. for some odd reason, we got to get kicking with our, you know, our childhood heroes and niggas we looked up to. And y'all became a movement, is what happened uh, with your music and how you, you know, every, listen, every group has drama. We all, we all did. Any successful group has drama, but it was the way y'all harnessed it back, tied it back together, and made it fucking work and stick and. You know, that's a testament to like, you know, really having passion for the brand, for the name, for each other. You know, that shit is right. solid shit, you know what I mean? And I think just the music that you that you had made throughout, throughout the time has always been like resonating with people because as you're talking about real shit, I mean, first of the month, a lot of motherfuckers could relate to that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, because it's fam, it's fam, it's really family with us. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It ain't. It's, it's not put together or, you know what I'm saying, synthetic or nothing like that. It's really organic what we got, like, hand-picked from guy, you know, flesh is my brother and wish is my cousin and best friends with crazy bones since junior high. And, and <clears throat> even the way Busy came into the picture as being younger than us yeah. through my mother and his father. You know what I'm saying? So, like... When we talking that first of the month, that first of the month, real. When we that talking shit was that, real when shit, we yeah. talking that Mo Murder, though, we on the block, that shit was for real, real, for too. real. We had to get the fuck out of there. It's real shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We had to get, like, it was like a life or death call and, like, leave this motherfucker and try to make some of yourself. Try to do something. Or yeah. go down. Or go the other way. Yeah, so, you know, that that family vibe would got us through all the turmoil and all that because when it boiled down to it, as kids, we was each other's brothers and fathers and uncles and giving each other game. And you know, that's... Let, let me ask you this. <clears throat> who, who was y'all, like, main influence, like, coming up as MCs because like y'all revolutionized a style that nobody was really not too many were tapping into the way y'all tapped into it y'all not only you know like fucking double time shit y'all sung with it and and did other things like you know who who, who were y'all listening to before, before I mean, y'all before you know you guys signed with easy and started flipping that style I mean we was we was both East Coast and West Coast junkies, you know what I'm saying? Right. Early on. Because you're right was, in the middle right there. Right. Early on, it was uh, East Coast, you know, 
LL Cool J, Big Daddy Kane, uh, Rock Kim, Eric B, you know what I'm saying? Um, Biz Markey, you know what I'm Special Ed, uh, you know, KRS Hall of Famers, all of them. You know what I'm saying? All them uh, Slick Rick, Dougie Fresh, you know what I'm saying? And yep. then as like 88 came in and then it was more to start going West Coast, you know what I'm saying? Right. So Easy E and them and DJ Quick and Spice One, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think we harnessed every coast, because even, like, Ghetto Boys. And, yeah. You know what I'm saying? The Ghetto Boys, Gangsta Nip, and all that, <clears throat> all that um, Big Mike and all them guys yeah. from down there. And, you know, two live crew, we came up on all of it, man. Like, we was that age where we were sponges at that time when, when hip hop yeah. was really, really making students. its ground. You, you know were know students of the game at that point. You know what I'm saying? Run DMC and writing they raps down and shit like that, man. So, we, we and then before that, you know, it was New Edition, Michael Jackson. For word. You know, that's where the singing and all the Motown and all that shit. Yeah, because cause, cause that was the other shit. Is like y'all came with, with harmonies on the shit. Like, y'all actually, like, fucking had that shit locked in. Nobody was doing that shit. And then immediately after, there was rappers double-timing their shit and motherfuckers trying to sing. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, to this day, you know, that's uh, that's what a lot of the game is built off of right there, the foundation of what you guys laid down right there. I mean, not saying no names, but <clears throat> damn near all the R&B is flipping flows and all that, and it's a beautiful thing, though, like, because... No, we never would have thought in a million years that we had been had uh, influenced as strong in this game. And that, to me, that's the most important part. Like, yes, we, we really touched some people and changed them. It's real shit. What's What's crazy is that some people know that they were directly influenced from your style, and some people got it through someone else who was influenced by your style. It got mm. passed down and passed down a generation. That's that's the strength of what you guys did. Like, you know, I because I saw it at birth. You know what I mean? Mm. So I like I know and I see what today's game is. And there's there's a lot of cool cats flip flipping the style and doing some different things with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Migos. Yeah, Migos. Migos, man. I like you know, for me, you know, there's a lot of lot of new cats flipping, but who who do you like? Like Man. aside from Migos, who who are you feeling right now that does a good job of, of flipping like that? Man, it's so, it's so it's so many, man. It's I like, you know, when T Pain do his thing, Chris Brown do his thing, you know what I'm saying? It's uh it's just it's just it's so heavily influenced, man. It's just like <clears throat> I just be looking like a a proud uncle or something like do your thing, nigga. You know what yeah, I'm yeah, like, fuck do, your, yeah. do that shit, like, cause that keep me inspired. You know what I mean? Like it'd be so much business and politics and what we do. It's easy to get older and be like, fuck this music part. I'm gonna get this business. You know what I mean? Yeah. But they keep me inspired. Like keep my pen hand going. Like cause when they when they when they Perfecting the craft, you know what I mean. We got to keep up. That's right. So, so you know, a lot of my, a lot of the people are gonna shit on me if I don't ask this. But you know, you guys working on a new Bone, Bone Thugs album? Yeah, man. I mean, we got, <clears throat> we did, we got a single coming out on the new Crazy and Busy album. Nice. A whole group single. Uh, you know what I mean? But yeah, we we definitely working, man. We definitely got a plan to onslaught a whole lot of music through movies, you know what I mean? Through our films, just getting our, our music out because we really hadn't released a lot in a, in a minute, but we got music with our artists. We got music with Bone Thugs and Harmony, the solo project I'm dropping, and you know, me and my brother Flesh and Bone <clears throat> and my little brother Stu. You know, we got the House Boys. Our last name is House, so we got the, that going. Nice. So the music gonna keep coming, man. We definitely gotta one day get in the studio and get him, get him a Cypress Hill Bone record too. Oh, man. we gotta get that. That's, 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 we gotta do that's that this a dream year. of mine. We man. gotta do that this year. 
Yeah, man. I got a studio back there. We, you know, whenever you got time, or we go to another studio. I don't give a man. shit. We should just do it. That would be crazy. Yeah, we can just oh, get it man. in dot com. That's what y'all heard it. I would flip on y'all style. Oh, Believe yeah. that. I could do it. Yeah, let's I do could, it. I could do it. Hey, man, that would be the <laughs> shit, boy. Oh, man. So, listen, you and, you and Callie, you know, you've been here for a minute. Like, what's your, what's your um, you know, take on the weed game out here? I mean, California, man, I mean, to me, hands down, is the best weed in the world. You know You what heard I'm it once again. Hands once down. again, you heard it. I just seen it today. You just see it. Hey, mm -hmm. listen, feeling it's, it. it's real shit. Just trying to tell you, but you know they are—they are trying to legalize or do decriminalization or medical in in Ohio right now. Yeah, yeah. So they, that you know it might open up down there at some point. Y'all yeah. got to get involved out there, people. You know what I'm saying? Get behind it. But uh, you know it should open up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean they—they they start passing. You know, I mean they—the process has begun. So we in Ohio with that legal vegetables too now. So you're gonna you're gonna open up shop in Ohio when once it once it goes? Definitely. Right you on. You already know, man. It's, so you it's thinking mandatory. Of, so you're gonna put out some strains? Well we got, I got the L burner strain coming. You know what's you know? crazy is that all y'all names lend itself to a strain. Mm -hmm. You could each come up with your own saying, you know, the crazy OG. Mm -hmm. The lazy OG, mm -hmm. the busy OG, the flesh OG. <laughs> The wish, the wish, OG. OG. You know what I mean? <laughs> know what I'm saying? <laughs> Those would all be fire. You, you know, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Oh man, y'all would clean up out there with that. Put all of it in one blunt. Yeah. And fucking roll it all in one blunt. And call it yeah, the bone. And when you got your money right, you just mix it all together. Yeah. Huh? Word up, man. What's your favorite strain you like to smoke? Well, I mean, I, I really like, I, I really like the Kush. The OG Kush. Yeah. You know what I mean? But uh, it depends. Like, I, I love I love Sativa when I'm doing my music and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, it keeps you up and going. Yeah, when I'm partying, though, you know, I be on that OG and that Kush, man. So. Word up. If you got that like, insane it's that OG, OG man, that's. That's, what, that's, what's, that's what's in that pre-roll right there. Some insane OG right mm -hmm. there for your brain. Mm -hmm. On a funky field tip, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you fuck with it all day. Change your life when you smoke a joint, blood, whatever. Word mm -hmm. up, man. So. I'm here to tell you this shit is the biz arm. <laughs> yeah. Word up. When's up? Uh, you guys got a tour coming up as well? Yeah, we on the road, man. You can look it up on the Bone Thugs and Harmony Facebook page, and uh, it'll tell you all the dates and everything. So we tour, you know, we tour throughout the year, man. At least 200 shows a year. I mean, you know, because y'all are so fucking huge, and y'all do fucking work. Do you guys? Do you guys? Uh use Facebook as your platform? Like, do you guys do live shit on your Facebook at all? Well, we all do on our individuals. You know what I'm saying? As far as the Bone, uh, the Bone Thugs and Harmony Facebook, we just had that information so our fans... Oh, man, y'all should go live with that. Do you know people with shit? Because you got so many, you got so many followers there. If you guys applied that live shit, you know, people would go ape shit, the engagement like that. Talk talk to the doctor after we get okay, okay, <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll talk to you about that, but that marketing and promotion. I'm trying huh, to tell you, these, you know, these people know, these people know, that's why they botch, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But uh um right oh man, I just wanna thank you for taking the time because we've been talking about even doing this for a long time, getting you in the box and people you know, they leave comments in the in right. the chat room, like who they, you know, like suggest to us, you know, right. we'll put out on the Instagram, like today, is it who, who do you want to see next in the box? Right. And a litany of fucking names come up. Yours always comes up. Sometimes a whole group comes up, like you need to get them all in the box, mm -hmm. which is also one of these times, I'm gonna need a bigger box. Hey, Understand? We you know, squeeze in this motherfucker. <laughs> we, 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 we got to, to get six him. deep with easy. Easy, yeah. we can get in this motherfucker. Word up! Just, just recently, you know, people were celebrating, you know, the memory of Easy E. 
a couple of days ago, actually. Yeah. When this comes out, it's gonna be, you know, a little bit later. But, you know, it's it's a, it's 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 good to see him celebrated because I don't think he gets enough um, he, he gets enough props on his pioneering and you know for finding you guys, man. I mean, that was right ridiculous. Yeah, but, man. I'm I'm. It's really good to see see Easy E being talked about because for a long time. You know, probably because of the way he died, like it was kind of swept up under the rug, his legacy. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But it's showing now. But it's just good to see you celebrated, man. And you know, it's 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 good to see that. Uh, you know, one of the things that uh, aside from N.W.A. and the other things that he he put he was a part of and he put down, you guys are still here, repping and killing it and you know hey fuck you know his his memory lives on through that too so mm-hmm. word up man All right rest in peace e word up man i want to thank you for taking the time oh, to get man. in the box my man oh, man big bro you know i'm back here lifted word up man leave your Insane. comments subscribe to the channel fuck with lazy bone fuck with bone thugs and harmony fuck with the whole family you know what i'm saying it's Check me out on my website, man. Um, www.harmonyhouseent.com. Follow me on Twitter, LazyBTNH. Instagram, The Real Lazy Bone. And uh, Facebook, Lazy Bone. Bone Thugs and Harmony, Facebook. And uh, I appreciate you, man. Harmony right. House, Mo Thug. That's what's up, man. This has been another Smoke Box. Peace the fuck out. Let me welcome you to the smoke box. Windows up, couple in rotation. I boxed out about three or four.